Hey guys, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd come and show you this. Um, I've actually finished wiring the windings. So basically what I've done here is that I've actually, at its factory setting, or when you get it out of the washing machine, it's just in one big, pretty much in one series. And you, you can use it, but I wouldn't recommend using it, because especially in high speeds, it, it, it can get up to 400 volts. It's quite dangerous, so it's not really suited for batteries. So in this situation, um, I've pretty much divided, or you've gone into parts, so and they're called stators, so I've gone in parallel with the wiring. Um, I won't explain too much into it, but I just recommend going on to the back shed, and there's lots of plans and easy, easy diagrams to follow on how to rewire these. It's, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, but um, yeah. So as you can see, I've wired it, and... Um, yeah, it's all ready to go. This is something just to keep note that you're always going to get some kind of cogging effect on here. Um, there is methods of eliminating it or help easing it. Basically what cogging is, is that it has that bit of a torque at the start, like it's not free moving. So basically you need a bit of a kick start to actually get the thing going, you know. It's like an old diesel generator, you know, you got the old, you got to wind it up to get it going, so... Uh, yeah, to be honest, um, in this situation, I've got a large diameter blade, and it's multiple blades, so just because the design of the actual windmill, I, there's nothing really I need to do with it, it'll be fine. But um, again, go in the back shed, and there's methods on there to show you how to help with that. Cool, thank you.